Christy and I are on a little road trip right now, and we found a unique stop, at least for us. We're with it, our friend Mike from Outdoors with the Morgans. Hi, everyone. Let's get started. No, you can't have one. Sorry. But I'm drooling. I mean, I know. This, this thing, I, I saw it a few weeks ago on Mike's channel mm -hmm. and the, you know. Yeah, but you dig up the entire front yard. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. This looks really nice. And I think it's about the right size, too. It's probably just the maximum size I could get on my trailer. Yeah, what can you haul on your trailer? This is 13,000 pounds. Okay, I can't have this big one. I can haul about That's good. 12. Yeah, that's why a lot of people will get the uh, KX40. Just it's a little bit easier to move. This is all you know, kind of a whole nother level as far as trucking goes. But I don't really have any plans in the near future of this going anywhere. We have plenty of stuff to do around here. Eventually, I will get to a point, probably a bigger truck and trailer, and be using this for work for other people. But for the next, for the foreseeable future, there's a lot of dirt to dig here. You know what I mean? This is a long way from that L3901 that I first saw on the channel. Yeah, and actually I used to have, years ago I had a Kubota, I think it was a 2350. I had one of those years ago. And, but I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. A lot of people watch our channel and they see all these tractors and now an excavator. Uh, it was not always like that, you know what I mean? Uh, we started out doing the exact same things that we do now, uh, cutting firewood and things like that. I started with a, a Kawasaki Bayou, a two-wheel drive, little four-wheeler, and then oh, I wow. got a little cart behind it. And uh, there's this, you can see these big hills here behind yeah. us. Yeah. You know? I'd have to get a run down that hill and I'd come flying up the other side here. And uh, I did that for a lot of years. And uh, I used to sell firewood to, you know, pay for Christmas, pay for bills, you know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of how we got started. And I'm 54. We're the same age, by the way. That's right. right. We're 50, that's right. 54 years old. I'm not. I'm much younger. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always, uh, always liked equipment, always worked around equipment. Primarily, I was a blaster. I blew things up for a living, but I did get to run a bunch of equipment. And then, you know, you just keep moving forward. You know what yeah. I mean? And over time, you start accumulating a few things. And then we bought this property up here, joins my mother's place recently bought another place that joins ours and uh you know my question for you is what made you buy a camera and start filming this stuff i mean that seemed just a, just a yeah. totally totally out of character yeah my thing was anytime i'd break something i would go to youtube to try to learn how to fix it sure. you know? okay. yeah and then uh, that's what i thought all youtube was was really for yeah. and i uh, my mom had a problem with her car we took it to the dealer, they couldn't fix it, you know what I mean? And I literally went to YouTube and was able to get the ignition to work. And then uh, I just started stumbling upon other videos, you know what I mean? And I'm like, boy, people are putting a lot of effort into this, you know what I mean? And then yeah. it turned into just one day I thought I'm gonna upload a video, cutting firewood, it's what I do. And I did and forgot about it pretty much for a month and came back and you know, there's a lot of views or 1500 or something and just start uploading more. But I've found over time that uh, it's not all just about how to. I mean, that's the major right. part of it, but people get to know us and we get to know them through the comments. You yeah. know what I mean? So it turned into us, for us at least, more of a community kind of thing. It's a I, great you know community. I mean? And uh, sure, we share information and things like that, but it's more just about like what we're doing, when we're doing it, and, uh, but it's, it's been great. It's been been really neat. Yeah. Biggest surprise. In all this time, biggest surprise. You could, you, you, you know, just seeing the subscriber growth and all that, yeah, that's maybe a little bit predictable because you're good at what you do, but what has really surprised you about the... <sighs> there's a lot of them. You know, I mean, there's a lot of surprise. Uh, we were talking earlier, I never told anybody about our channel till we reached a thousand subscribers, you know what I mean? But the biggest surprise for me is just how many people out there are exactly like us. You know what I mean? I had no yeah. idea. I'm serious. I had no idea people are chomping at the bit to get up and go cut firewood on a cold Saturday morning like I am. You know what I mean? You're not. And then, no, not but, me. But the same kind of thing, hopping on their tractor or, or yeah. whatever. And starting this channel, I've met a lot of those people and I see the comments and uh, it's just a nice lifestyle. You know, we live in an area, we have a bunch of property, but we're 10 minutes. You came in that way. We're right. 10 minutes from the rat race, really. Housing plan after housing plan. But there's a lot of people that enjoy the same things we do 
or they live in the city and they're looking to move out to the country a little bit. You know what I mean? But the, the biggest surprise was just how many of us there are out there. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And very like minded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mike, the first question I have is, do I need to take my shoes off? No, it's actually much dirtier than what I like right now. I mean, this thing is sparkling, I would say. Of course, it's got a little bit of, of yeah. dirt on the floorboard, but this is really nice. And the heat in that, literally, even on a day like this, five minutes, you have it turned down to one in about half heat. They do. It's a great machine to sit in on a cold day. It really... Wonderful visibility. Got windows up at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this door, is it? Yeah, the whole over? door will go up. Okay. Now, I know a lot of guys that will run them uh, like that. I, I, I never I never did because I'm usually working by myself. And now a good time to run a machine like this with the window up is when you have guys working around. You know, we actually Get recommend... Get that. Pick that up. Yeah. Well, yeah. not only that, it's a safety thing. You know okay. what I mean? You can hear more what's going on. These are quiet machines, really. You know what I mean? A guy can say, hey, watch out over here or whatever. And so when you're working around people, it's probably a good idea to run with that window open. And like I said, the heat works great as it is. You know what I mean? So you'd stay warm anyways, but uh, I usually run with it down. When I'm out in the woods or somewhere, I'm by myself. Yeah. So I see you've got a bucket. It looks like, I'm guessing, that's like an 18-inch. Yes. that's um, an... With uh, You've got a thumb on it. Do you mm -hmm. have any other attachments for it? Yes. Yeah, so far, I have a 30-inch bucket, which what, that's what I'll use to like load my dump trailer, yeah. mass digging. You know what I mean? And then I also have a four-foot grading bucket. Oh, my. Some call it a ditching bucket. Yeah cleanup bucket no teeth on it but great for cleaning out ditch lines and and you know people you can grade with them you know spreading yeah. topsoil and uh eventually i will probably get an auger as well but uh the hydraulic thumb is the big thing uh, i talked to a lot of people i say buying one of these without the thumb would be like a cordless drill without a bit driver you know yeah. what i mean it's I, it's I, just i saw your video on that at the very same time that i had a 37 sized uh mm -hmm. excavator without a thumb and it just it was so awkward to have that. yeah 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 you just have to have one yeah you know i had a manufacturer that provided it to us for a while and it, a, th a thumb is mandatory, I think. And if uh, you can probably see out on the out on the stick there, I have another set of uh, hydraulics. So I could run an auger or whatever, leave the thumb on. You oh, know. So you've got two sets yeah. uh, uh, out there. Yep. Okay. And, and the it blade. looks like an angle blade. Yeah, angle blade. Uh, the 40, the KX040, they'll have a six-way blade on them. I don't really need a six-way, but this is the angle blade. Uh, nice for backfilling, and you can actually grade with it as well. I gotta have this, Mike. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, I thought it'd be great for you to join us this time. Thanks for thanks for yeah, joining us. Yeah, thanks for stopping. It's great to meet you guys. Yeah. Well, my question for you is: Did you buy into this originally? I mean, when Mike was out shooting, and or were you kind of a holdout? And I was. I was a hard sell. I think about ten thousand subscribers. Ten thousand subscribers. Like, Maybe this because at ten thousand subscribers, he was starting to be approached by. Um, yeah, some like they're... sponsors, but also um, he had said to me, "Hey, I need your help with stuff," and I'm like, "I have to go out of town." He goes, "I need your help. You need to quit your job," and that's where my ears perked up. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Here, "Okay, here's my contract." <laughs> that that ten, first ten thousand took how long did that take? A year and a half or something? Yeah. Probably yeah. about a year and a half, maybe even a little bit longer than that. Yeah. And, and the then and then you took off. Yeah, and it's just been consistent since then. Yeah. Now the, the kids, best. the kids were kind of in the same Sarah, place you were. Hard sell. Yeah. Now Eva was the one. She's yeah. a little bit younger. You know, Eva's 16 now. So when we started, she would have been 12, yeah. right? Yeah. And I was down cutting firewood down there one day. When I, this is six months after I started, and Eva came down. I thought something was wrong. She's carrying her phone. And I'm like, what's going on? She's like, you hit a thousand subscribers. You know what I mean? I said, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know? yeah. So she was excited about yeah. it. That's pretty she cool. She was excited. She Tell told me. The rest of the story. Back up the house. She goes, Mom, I texted all my friends and had them subscribe to Dad's <laughs> channel. <laughs> yeah, we were like, at, found out later, we were like at 985. So there were 15, 12 year old girls that subscribed. So. <laughs> whatever. Well, whatever it takes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you know, that's been one of the aspects of your channel is is you have involved your family a lot uh, and your dogs. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, it, I'm sure it's been a struggle for you guys to 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 have, I mean, your, your full time job going. And then mm -hmm. you, I guess at some point you had to quit your job. Sounds like he kind of told I you. Did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, 
And with Hunter, I'm sure that's a, a bit of a challenge too. Nope. That's a thing, just kind of like, since you've been here, just going in to check on, he can get in some stuff. Sur- he some can get trouble. into some stuff. He knows we hide like <laughs> some leftover candy or something. And- yeah. But Hunter, the channel has been really good for Hunter. Now, yeah. I was hesitant for the longest time to include Hunter in any videos. And then uh, once I did, the response, the positive response was overwhelming from people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and if you would have told me, you know, a couple years ago that me taking Hunter to Burger King on a Saturday and people are going to be guessing, is he going to choose the spicy chicken or the chicken nuggets? Yeah. And she reads the comments to Hunter and he just lights up. You know what I mean? And it's been really a good thing for him you know for him for him he, so he has autism he's nonverbal for any of your subscribers that don't know but he's 28 he has he'll probably always live with us but since the pandemic he's been home with us since last march every day so we he's involved in a lot of our activities yeah. a lot of behind the scenes but it's overstimulating if all those subscribers were standing in our face it would be to anybody but even a handful can be overstimulating with someone with with his uh, mm-hmm. autism. So it's nice to have that interaction. The comments people. coming back right. are, are, yeah. are comforting manage- to him. Right, right. Yeah. manageable. Because he understands them all and she reads them to him and he, he smiles and uh, yeah, Hunter has fans all over the place. He, it's he just does. a nice relationship, cool. it really is, yeah. Guys, uh, Mike, uh, as soon as we get off of here, I think we need you to start power washing the salt <laughs> off, of, <laughs> off of my new Kubota tractor. Yeah, that's a nice tractor. You need to get that salt off, though, I'm telling you. Pennsylvania see? is known for salting our roads. Like, you should like see time. my truck, my Jeep, everything around here looks the it's same like way. white coating on everything. Yeah. Hey, Christy, come join us here for a second. It's, it's not that cold, Christy. It's cold here, but it's not Indiana. <laughs> and no, I'm glad there's no room on the trailer for this because you'd probably try to talk Mike out of it. Yeah, that would that would be great. I'm I'm I, no. I need one of these. No. <laughs> you know, list. my yeah. favorite my favorite part here is that we've got uh, two families together that mm-hmm. operate family friendly channels, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, it's 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 great to be able to finally meet you guys face to face. We've yeah. talked yeah. with you for years and yeah. and watched each other's content for years, just like all the other viewers, right? right? I know. Right. Uh, it's pretty so neat. it's it's yeah. great stuff. So, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to check out Outdoors with the Morgans, and um, well. Mike works a lot harder than me. He's cutting firewood all the time, (laughs) working hard with all of his bright orange equipment. But again, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Tractor Time Time with with Tim. Tim.